G'day guys, my name's Ben and welcome to the channel and today we're reviewing this, the 53 litre My Cool Man Dual Zone Fridge and Freezer. Now let me tell you about a few reasons why I think the My Cool Man fridge here and more importantly, the My Cool Man portable power pack are a great decision. Now let me get this heavy thing off my legs. So if you're probably watching this video, I reckon there's a good chance you're probably in the market for fitting a portable fridge to the back of your four-wheel drive, especially if you're from Australia. Now, while that is certainly one of the reasons why I bought this fridge, there are plenty of other reasons why I think this fridge is going to help me, but also potentially help you if you are considering a fridge for yourself. So for me, there's really three benefits that I can think of as to why this is a really, really good investment. And the first benefit is having this fridge as a backup. Now this could probably save your fresh produce that you've got in your fridge if you hit a serious power outage. Now, if you live in Melbourne, Australia, like me, you probably know that 2021's been pretty rough with wild weather, earthquakes, things like that. There's been a lot of areas that have lost power for longer than a week. I was one of those and this fridge, if I had it at the time, would have been really, really handy. Second benefit is it's a hell of a lot more convenient than an icebox or an esky. Now, I was lucky enough to go on a bit of a trip at the beginning of this year, just in between some COVID lockdowns and went up and down the coast of Australia and I actually only had an esky with me at the time, which meant I had to empty water, replace the ice almost every single day. Everything I had stored in that esky got wet and overall, it just, after doing it for a month, it became very, very annoying. By having the fridge, you avoid all the mess. You can actually confidently leave things in the back of your car if you're using it in your car. And generally speaking, it really does become well worth it. And the third benefit is portability. Now, I've gone out and got the portable battery pack that you can attach to this fridge. And the great thing about the battery pack is it gives you up to 18 hours on a single charge with the fridge doing whatever it needs to do. And the great thing about that is pretty much it covers off all the benefits that I've already said, but it means you don't need to hardwire it to wherever you're currently using it. And for me, that was the selling point. Now this is the 53 litre variant of the My Cool Man range. And the great thing about this one is it's dual zone. And what that means is you can have one zone operating as a freezer and one zone operating as a fridge, or if you want to conserve power or not use as much power, you can turn one of those zones off as well if you don't need it. And if you're after that dual zone function in the smallest fridge possible, I think this is probably one of the only solutions that you can pick from across the entire portable fridge industry. So definitely go ahead and check this one out. Now this fridge is built like a tank and if you've only done your research online so far, I really do encourage you to go to your local retail store and see if you can look and feel one because you will certainly agree that it probably can withstand a lot out in the field. It really does appear that you know you could probably let it get some rain if you needed to. You could probably sit it down in the mud and it would probably keep going perfectly fine. Now on the sides of the fridge you have two handles, one on either end, and these handles are kind of dual purpose. Of course, the first thing they're good for is picking it up and moving the fridge, which especially if you get the battery pack, you'll probably be doing. But otherwise, these handles also function as a mounting point if you were gonna be permanently mounting it to your four wheel drive or car. Now, a great little bonus feature on here too is also just under the handle, you'll find a bottle opener on either end as well. So you don't even need to look for the bottle opener, they've given you two and Trust me, it's certainly helpful, especially if you're in a social gathering where the fridge is in play. Now, if you're gonna be permanently mounting this fridge or anything, the great thing too is that there's power ports on either side as well. So depending on your mounting solution, you should be able to find a way to get power to it. Now, because the fridge is dual zone, you have a little bit of customization once you open the lid as well. Now, you can actually choose which side you wanna have the fridge lid open from. So there's a bit of customization there. But once you open it up, you really have those two different zones, which are pretty obvious. One, which is really obviously the freezer, kind of has the lid where you can kind of seal it off if you're trying to keep the cold in. The other side, definitely more of the fridge function, kind of has two levels to it, so you can get extra in. But the great thing about the fridge too is there's like a flap that you can lift up if you have a really long object that you need to keep in there, like a big bottle or something like that. So there really is a lot of flexibility in here. And to be honest, I think this size would be great for definitely a couple, maybe even a family of four, depending on how much you want to cram in there. Now, the great thing too is you can easily control the temperature settings and things like that from the fridge itself. 
But if you do wanna connect and be all tech savvy, you can actually run this through an app off your phone with Bluetooth connection as well. Now, I didn't actually think I'd use the Bluetooth app very often, but you know what? There were plenty of times in a few recent day trips I've done where we just wanted to check on the temperature of the fridge while we were currently driving. And someone from the passenger seat is very easily able to flick the app open, check that the temperatures are good or adjust them if they need to as well, which is really, really helpful. The app itself is pretty basic, but does offer the most important things to you straight away, like temperature adjustment and telling you what the current temperature is, which is probably all that you're ever gonna use the app for anyway. Now, whether you're running this fridge hardwired or running it off the battery pack, the great thing about the My cool Man products is they also come with a USB port on them. Now, the USB port actually isn't just a low-powered USB port. If you need it to kind of charge something a little bit more serious, like your laptop, for instance, you will be very happy to see that it will be able to achieve that as well. So if you're someone that kind of wants to work remotely from the beach or something like that, yeah, you could have the battery pack charge, sit on the beach, feet up, laptop open, and this would probably keep you going for quite a while. So there's quite a few benefits, especially in this working from home lifestyle that we're now in, or at least a lot of us. So let me talk to you about how I'm currently using this primarily in our Jeep Wrangler. And if you have a look here, here's kind of roughly the size that it takes up in the boot of the Wrangler. Now this once again is the 53 liter variant. And if you're wanting to mount it or put it in your Jeep at this orientation, I reckon this is probably the largest size that you'd comfortably want to put in there. Now, the way I run it is I've currently plugged it in with the 12 volt socket when I'm running it while it's in the car. But once I arrive at my destination or if I want to set up camp or do something like that, all I need to do then is once I disconnect the fridge from the car, all I do is swap the 12 volt power cable across and plug in the battery pack and turn that on and the fridge operates as normal. It is that simple. Now, I'd probably bet a lot of money that this fridge won't slide around too much in the back of your car either because underneath there's some pretty serious rubber feet that hold it in place. All right, it's a few days later after recording the rest of this video, but I thought I'd actually come back and add a little bit more to this video and talk a bit more about the uh, My Cool Man Power Pack. Now, the reason why I wanna talk a little bit more about it is this is really what attracted me to the My Cool Man brand, and that is the fact that this battery just suddenly gives the fridge so much more purpose. And as I've already mentioned, it's a great thing to have outside of your car, but just in case you lose power at home or something like that, if you have this charge, this could really, really help save a lot of produce and things like that at home. Now, according to my cool man's spec sheet on their website, at an operating temperature of 25 degrees outside and having the fridge set to four degrees as a cooler, this battery will keep your fridge running for up to 18 hours. Now that's one of their smaller fridges, one of their 30 litre ranges. And for the fridge that I have, the 53 litre, I think this would probably last about 12 hours, maybe more. Now that's what the brochure's saying, but when you actually jump on the internet and read the reviews on their website from customers, a lot of people are saying that they're getting a lot more time out of this pack than just what the brochure says, which is a really, really good thing. So just looking at the size of this battery pack, as I'm sure you can tell, it is very, very large. It actually comes in with a capacity of 15 AH. So it could potentially keep a lot of devices charged for a very, very long time. Unfortunately, the battery pack is a little bit kind of single use only, as in it only really works with the fridge. So what this will do is it will power the fridge and it will give power to the USB port on the fridge but I am a little bit devastated this massive power pack doesn't have any ports on the other end as a secondary alternative for this power pack. So that would be the only improvement that I would try and make to this. Now flipping around to the back of this power pack as well, you'll see the eight black squares here. They are magnets that just simply attach to the side of the fridge. So fixing this to the side of your fridge is really, really easy, or you could put it on anything else if you need to, but it's as simple as that attaching this to the fridge and you'll see the power port just here that you just need to run one cable into the side of the fridge to power it on, that easy. The power pack is quite small and compact compared to some other offerings from other brands on the market as well. So I think what my cool man have done is, is really taken this portable power pack technology and actually made it irrelevant and convenient. 
to actually be able to just easily attach it to the side of the fridge and have it almost take up the same amount of room is really where this product does shine. The great thing too is, you know, the battery pack is actually sold separately. So if you did want to kind of go off road even longer or stay off the grid for as long as possible, you could always buy a second, a third or, you know, as many power packs as you'd like if you want to keep the fridge going for as long as humanly possible. So there's certainly a lot of flexibility there to extend the use of your fridge quite easily. Now, as I've kind of already covered, if you're running this in a hotter environment and you set your temperature to be as cool as possible and you absolutely fill the fridge full of everything, this will have to work harder. So there are a lot of variables out there, but generally speaking, what a great thing to have, especially if you're out road tripping or something like that. You know, you could suddenly take the fridge out of your car, put it next to you, at your, next to your tent or something like that, and you don't need to walk to the car to go get anything. So really, really helpful. Now, when I chose the 53 liter fridge, it was with the intention that it would fit in the back of my Jeep Wrangler. But as a little added bonus, I had sort of hoped it would fit in the back of my Subaru WRX. And unfortunately, it's just a fraction too big to fit in the boot. So I'm a little bit disappointed there. But if you did have a medium SUV and, and not a large four wheel drive, I do think this size would fit in the back of your Subaru Forester or Mazda CX-5 or a car like that. But probably it will probably take up a little bit too much space if you are packing the car for a overnight trip or something like that. But once again, as I've said, the build quality between all the different My Cool Man models is basically exactly the same. So once again, jump onto the My Cool Man website and you can have a look at all the different shapes and sizes of fridges that they sell. And I would say the 53 litre that I have here is probably about the middle of the range in terms of sizing. So if you're after something much bigger, potentially if you have a Toyota Land Cruiser or something like that, you can certainly be looked after there. Or if you're after something that's a little bit more smaller for a compact car or maybe just a day trip or an afternoon trip, they've certainly got products there that can help you as well. And now I'll flip back across to my previous self recording the rest of this video. Now, while having a portable fridge is great in principle, there of course are some negatives that you do need to weigh up. And the first one here is this is pretty heavy. Now, while the My Cool Man fridges are built like a tank, that of course comes as a bit of a consequence that it's gonna be heavy for you as well. So uh, this one here, the 53 liter that I'm looking at right now, look, once that's fully loaded, I can still lift that on my own, but I would probably say that it's probably not the smartest idea doing so and would probably be best for having two people help carry it at the same time. Now, like normal fridges, these operate better in cooler temperatures. So the hotter it gets, the harder these fridges have to work. That means that battery pack has to work harder and won't last as long. And the fridges themselves, these ones have a temperature monitoring system in them as well. So what that actually means is the fridge will shut down if it gets too hot. So if you leave it in the back of your car, if you're parked out in the sun, the windows are up, there's no ventilation, if the fridge senses it's getting too hot and it's working too hard, it will temporarily shut itself down. Now that's actually a good thing, I guess, so it stops the whole machine from breaking. Uh, but what I actually noticed is when this first happened to me on my very first trip with the fridge, when I came back to it and realized that it had shut itself down, everything inside the fridge was still really, really cool and it kept that temperature for quite a long time as well. So yeah, there are some pros and cons to here, but what I would say is if you are putting it in the back of your car, just be conscious about where the fridge is and where the car is if you're parking it, because try and find a shady spot and maybe crack a window to kind of help the car stay a bit cooler. And I guess the final negative is quite an obvious one really, and that is that it's very expensive compared to an ice box. Now, if you're gonna spend and invest in a portable fridge, I really do think there's pretty much only an upside here. But yeah, you do have to go a very big jump in price from an ice box to a portable fridge, of course. Now, I wish I could have a few more stories to tell on how the fridge has gone on some off-road adventures, but I actually haven't been able to go too far from home yet as down here in Melbourne, Australia, we're still kind of coming out of lockdown at the time of recording this video. So maybe I'll follow up a little bit later with another one, but overall, whether you're a four wheel driver, a little bit more of a suburban day tripper, I think you'll find value in either this particular My Cool Man model or any of their other range, which are all built to basically the same standard. So thanks a lot for watching everyone. Please leave a comment if you have any questions. Otherwise, please think about liking and subscribing to the channel as well. And we'll see you around for the next video. Have a good one. See ya.